happy sunday how are we i just put my new vlog live and i'm actually nerding out over the like stats like the views are up 57 percent as to like normal my watch time is up my views are up my subscribers are up so like this is absolutely great i just love all like these numbers and all that kind of stuff. So 24 people are currently watching my video. Yeah, it's just good because like obviously with a YouTube channel, I think so many people now like want fast and they want like to watch your Instagram stories and they want to watch things fast. And now whereas a YouTube video takes more time to do, it like is normally like 10 to 20 minutes long depending. So to put up a video and for it to get a good response is like key. So it was a vlog, so I'm gonna do a weekly vlog again this week. Um, what do I have coming up this week? Today is Sunday. I'm working at six, so I have, I'm going to the gym now. And then we're just gonna see what happens throughout the week. I have a lot of work to do for my workshop on Thursday, so I thought that would be fun. But I'm back from the gym now, sweaty. I work at six. So I'm just going to eat, um, had a really good gym session, I'm actually back in love with the gym lads. It's taken a while, um, if you've followed me on Instagram and stuff for long you will know, um, I was kind of overweight and then I lost like a load of weight, got really into the gym and then when I moved to, like I went to Titan Fitness training for like I think it was a week, maybe longer and then when I went to move, move to Australia I kind of just went downhill. But now we're getting back into the groove and I'm actually buzzing, like buzzing. So this is what I'm eating after the gym. Avocado toast with some eggs. Sorry. Ready for work. Um, right now I'm just gonna go to the window. <laughs> I've worked in 25 minutes, so I'm leaving there in five minutes. I'm just gonna show you my face cause I actually don't have foundation on, I just have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Concealer, um, the Too Faced Concealer for Contouring, um, Laura Mercier Plow Powder, Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Airbrush Flawless Powder, Brush or Bronzer, Bronzer, and then I did my brows, my eyes. This new mascara I got, that's like, look into my eyes. It's the Note Sculpt and something mascara, but I really like it. Like it makes my lashes look full on, but, um, so yeah, I'm going to work now, uh, so that's exciting. Hopefully I get lots of tips, because I'm so friendly. Uh, the lipstick is Kylie Jenner Savage Velvet, and yeah, off to work now to earn my cash dollar money, because Realistically, anyway, last week's wages and this week's wages are going on my laptop. If I have to pay for it, I haven't heard anything yet, so I'm taking it as good, no news is good news. Um, and then I have the workshop Thursday as a will. So I'm hoping to invest the money I earn from the workshop back into my makeup kit. Because uh, I have a good few appointments coming up the next few weeks, like graduations, weddings and stuff like that. So yeah, I will see you later when I'm probably way more tired. And I'm going to see how this kind of makeup last for the night because obviously this is like very low coverage like it's just kind of like skin enhancement rather than a full-on beat because i just couldn't be arse going to work because i'd be sweating anyway and i feel like wearing full coverage foundation and sweating is like making my skin bad so goodbye good morning, good morning. happy monday how are we it's a new week and i'm pumped for this week i'm so excited i've very exciting things going on this week so I just got a delivery from Boots um that I paid for I ordered it on Saturday so basically Boots had I got a notification on my phone because like this is not sponsored by Boots also I just I don't know me and Boots have had a thing recently I think it's their whole like free next day delivery before 12 and their point system is really good and they have so so many brands like Fenty, Too, pa Too Faced and like a lot of brands that I couldn't get or I can't get Intrally and I could get when I was in Australia. So I got um, a notification Saturday saying there was 20% off soap and glory stuff and there was three for two. So it was like two deals. So I just picked up 
these three things. Um, so I got the Smoothie Star breakfast scrub. I have, um, I have the Smoothie Star body butter, so I wanted to get the scrub for the shower. And then I just got two Smoothie Star body sprays. If you can tell, I just love the Smoothie Star range. I just love the smell. It's like my vibe. It's like shea butter, like almond, vanilla, like those kind of warm scents. So yeah, so that's all I picked up. So I just collected that from Boots this morning. So I ordered it literally Saturday and it was in the store today. So like very good service. Um, If you... If you spend over 25 euro, delivery into the store is free. But if you spend under 25 euro, it's only 250, which is fine. So yeah, I just picked up them. I'm waiting on an ASOS delivery, which I'm very excited for. And I weighed myself this morning and my weight is down. So in the last, see I have an app, right? And it's called Happy Scale. Um, and I just have it to kind of keep track because I like seeing progress. In the last 30 days, I've lost eight pounds which is good um as in they just go by the last 30 days like i might have only lost it in like two weeks to get me i've lost eight pounds which is half a stone um and i'm not saying like weight is important weight is just like your weight is just a number like a certain weight on me might look different on you but it, i just like to track it that way so i know what my progress is weight isn't the only way you can see progress as well i do measure myself with a measuring tape you never should feel like you have to lose weight or anything unless it's literally affecting your health um and i mean like your actual health like you know um i think it's a very sensitive subject i think there's a huge diet culture at the moment and like there always kind of has been for women and it's important not to let yourself fall into the thought that you need to be on a diet like I don't think I'm on a diet I'm just so I don't think I'm on a diet like I don't be like oh I'm on a diet I can't eat this I'm like okay well this is how many calories I'm supposed to have a day to lose weight so I need to eat within those calories I need to make good choices I need to have good healthy food that's gonna support my training in the gym and make me feel good and that's how I look at it. And then if I'm having something, I just kind of rearrange my calories. Like if I'm having a pizza or if I'm having, like I had a pizza last week, like, do you know, I don't, I'm not like, oh, I can't eat this because I'm on a diet. Like I'm not that girl. Just restriction doesn't work for me. It just makes me want to eat the thing more. I think I can really see it in my jawline on my face because at the start of my last vlog, which was just a week ago, I thought that I was holding a lot of water or like weight here. Okay, so, bit of a weird one. Well, I wouldn't say weird, it's just I've never done anything like this, but I got new bras, and I feel like for my gals with kind of bigger boobs, or like anyone, like you don't have to have big boobs to get these bras. So, um, oh yeah, this is better. So it's the ASOS Triangle Recycled Microfiber Bras. Um, I saw actually an article about it on Facebook that it's really good good for girls with bigger boobs because what I found I was doing recently was I was wearing a lot of sports bras and when you wear sports bras it makes your boob look like one big giant boob and I kind of like obviously like under clothes and stuff for it to look better <laughs> um but yeah so I just got this it came in a three pack for 30 euro and it's made of recycled material it's really soft this is just like a band it's not like wire I did um get 34 waist just because I am in the middle of losing weight and stuff and my weight goes from my waist first my waist will be getting smaller so I wanted them to kind of fit they fit perfectly now the sizing but again my boobs will be like the first places I lose weight is my boobs and my waist so I kind of wanted them I didn't want them to fit my boobs as the size they are now perfectly because they will be getting smaller throughout the next few weeks and months um but yeah so this is it it's very comfortable it's like obviously it's not the most supportive bra in the world like but i just want something that is comfortable and that keeps my boobs in <laughs> in place for lack of a better word um and it came with a white one and a kind of nude fleshy pink colored one as well so it's the asos design for the bust Recycled bra and I got the size 34F. <coughs> oh, 
That is ugly. Right here, right here, right here, right here. My ring light. I got the newer ones. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I just ran up the stairs. Hey. So I am just home from work. Um, I was on a day shift today, one to five. It was fine. But in the last clip, you saw me freaking out about my bae. Look at her. So I got a ring light, which is very exciting. Um, this is it from the back. So it has a little thing that I can clip my phone or camera into. BS stand. And it's a newer one. I think that's how you pronounce it. Newer. Newer. I don't know. But like it came with like the bag and all the little multicolored inserts. So I have like the warmer one or the whiter one. So I kind of balanced it. I put half and half just to kind of get a nice warm balance. It is adjustable. It is adjustable and I'm actually obsessed. Like look at the quality. Like I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder now. Hey, but look at the, like not even the quality, just the lighting. Like, I have no shadows on my face, like, literally. Do you want to see what I was using before for my lighting? Like, obviously, this is me, like, up close to it. But before, for my lighting, I was using this. This. This is what I was using before. Like, this guy. That is the only light that I have, and now I have this. I've named her Lulu. And I'm just very excited because I don't know why I have it took me this long to buy a ring light. Like it's gonna be so beneficial for my work. Like I'll be able to take appointments like if it's early in the morning, if it's dark outside, or if it's late in the evening, because normally I only take appointments on like daylight hours, whereas now I'll be able to take appointments. Say if want someone wants an appointment at like seven or eight in the evening when normally it's dark and I wouldn't have had the lighting now i can so i just bought this guy so it's a makeup case from pennies so it's the ps pro range um so yeah so it's just a makeup bag and i'll just show you the inside it has two little compartments so this is the first compartment so it just it has a little zip pack here that maybe you could put like dirty brushes or your cotton pads or anything like that and then it has this compartment which is what I'm most excited about so they're obviously adjustable so you can make like one part bigger one part smaller like you can readjust these and change the shape and everything but I just think it's really good for like something like tomorrow where I just need makeup in its little compartments and yeah so I'm gonna fill up this now for the workshop tomorrow and I'll show you what I have when I'm done. So yeah this was 20 euro in pennies. Oh and it also has this section when you open it up so you can put all your brushes there and yeah it's just like 20 euro like very very handy. I'm just sitting here taking a little break because I'm just finished work so I was like right I'll take a break before I like do my stuff. Pepsi Max is absolutely vile. Like Honey, get it together. Normally I have Coke Zero in my house, but it was replaced by this situation. No. No. It's just not a vibe. I love my new ring light, lads. I'm just flirting with her, like she's just looking at me. It was also, I'm, I'm gonna link I bought it off Amazon, um, I bought the newer one, but um, I'm going to link the exact one from the exact seller that I bought it. It was like 90 euro, uh, free shipping, and I ordered it Monday, and today's Wednesday. Like, and I was like scared because like it said it was the newer one and like 18 inches and like blah blah blah, but like there's so many of them on Amazon that I didn't know which one to get, so I just went with this one because all the reviews were good but then after I only realized there were six reviews and I was kind of freaking out literally so easy to set up so like everything works um because I read on a few reviews of ring lights that the light color fittings like 
the orange or the white ones didn't fit on properly they all fit properly the thing for my phone like everything works it came with like the proper knee wear manual and the bag and the face mask on got my face mask on it's the Ulla Henriksen um cold plunge pore mask and I just washed all my makeup brushes because not only have I the workshop tomorrow, but I also have my appointments Friday. So I just washed absolutely everything. And now I'm going to pack for the world. I'm just packing my kit for tomorrow. Um, so basically, I'm not obviously packing my full kit for like doing makeup because I'm more teaching the girls. So like I'm doing a base look first and then going over it with a hello or going changing it to a halloween look and this is so i have the lashes that i'm going to use on the demos the blood the latex oh now and i have my spirit gum as well here um i'm trying to think what else i need so yeah that's all the makeupy stuff i just kind of brought some of my favorite products as well just to Show them because I want it to be fun and interactive. This is very way early to be in the world right now, you know? Like, to be open, feeling everything the world has to give at like five in the morning. Hashtag early start. Hashtag grind. How are we? Good morning. <laughs> Just getting ready for the master class. So I said I'd show you eight before. <laughs> so the face is beat. The lashes are on. Ooh, this is a vibe. I mixed the Urban Decay um, Stay Naked with the Sherry Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I freaking love the result and the finish and everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna get everything organized now so that I'm like ready to go ready you know yeah this is my vibe today i'm gonna fix my hair um goodbye did i ever think i'd be vlogging in a school no <laughs> if you told me when i left school that i would be vlogging would i have believed you no but here i am so i have my setup the workshop so I have my massive ass ring light and then this is obviously the pennies bag I already showed you but I put all my brushes in this is so handy it was only 22 euro obviously it wouldn't fit like your full kit but like for like if you were traveling and you wanted to bring all your makeup and your brushes and stuff and then I have my special effects things here our shadow palettes and all my dress so I'm very excited um she told me I can like write on the whiteboard, <laughs> but like my writing is so bad. So I just put my Instagram there. Lol. Yes, I'm very excited. I have my visitor pass and um, I'm excited to see how the day goes, how everything kind of pans out and I hope the girls really enjoy it. That's the main thing. Once they enjoy it, I don't care. Once I make them laugh and we have the bands, I do not care. Hey! I'm back from the workshop. Um, I didn't get much footage just because obviously I was in a school and all the girls are like under 18 so I didn't want to be recording um, there. But I had so, 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 so much fun like oh my god all the girls were so so lovely they were so willing to learn obviously like their teacher had organized this so like i was kind of apprehensive on whether or not they'd all be interested or whatever so basically i did like a full makeup look and then kind of turned it into halloween look so we focused mostly on scarring and like how to create fake scars and stuff and honestly the girls like absolutely loved it like they were all so so lovely like a lot of them want to be makeup artists or like special effects makeup artists so i got to chat to a few of them about that kind of stuff and like honestly i just had the best time also my makeup has been on since like six this morning 
and I'm kind of thriving. Look at it. It's such a good day. I'm literally buzzing. I really wanted a Lana, but Lana don't deliver, so I ordered tamarind, which is Thai food. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited to chill for the night. I do have a few makeup appointments tomorrow morning, so I'm going to wash my brushes. Um, but yeah, I'm actually buzzing. I might film a YouTube video as well, even though I feel like my energy for the day is gone. Do you know when you give so much and like all your energy, I feel like my energy is gone and like my voice is definitely about to go soon. But yeah, I just had so, so much fun and I love teaching. Like I love teaching makeup and I love like teaching my tips and tricks and like also during the class I talked a bit about like social media and like not giving a fuck but I didn't use that word because I was in a school and like how like everything you see isn't real on social media and like your control of your own you're in control of your own social media experience like depending on who you follow and how they make you feel will give you either a more positive or more negative experience um i also kind of touched on just to be nicer to people and like to not judge someone for doing something that they like or for being different like it's never i kind of kind of touched I kind of touched on, sorry I'm just stretching my back, I'm yeah so I kind of touched on like how it's not cool to judge someone for doing what they love and like it's not cool to like laugh at the girl that you think is weird or it's not cool to like share someone's picture they post on Instagram and talk shit about them like that's not cool and that's not fun and that's not what I'm about. So I was talking to them about that and I love talking to like younger people and like getting their opinions and listening to them and I'm just buzzing. So yeah, I just said I'd give you a quick update. I'm off this evening as I'm in off working in the bar and I'm off tomorrow. So I'm actually very excited. I'm going to see Hustlers tomorrow night. Um, and I'm buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Morning, afternoon. How are we? I'm just heading to town now. I have an appointment with Inga and we're going to do a nail vid. I'm very excited. Yeah, I actually guess what I did last night, lads. I can't believe I did this. I fell asleep at like half eight with my curtains open, like just passed out. I was so tired. I literally fell asleep at half eight last night. That is not me. I was just so wrecked. And then I'd make appointments all morning. And then now I'm going to get my nails done. How amazing are my nails? Like, can we cope? Are we seeing what's on the screen right now? So I did like all different shades of pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month and then I have like the gold foil kind of vibe because it just makes it look so glam and I'm literally obsessed with them. I'll have a picture of October 1st. My nails done, preview for the vlog. Um, I'm not posting a picture of them till October 1st because every year I get pink nails for October um, for Breast Cancer Awareness. So, I got my nails done in House of Glamour and we were talking about our Halloween. We've such a good Halloween concept. So like Inga's gonna do the nails, I'm gonna do the makeup and we're gonna do like a photo shoot and I'm very excited about it. Also, secret for the vlog because I'm not going to be saying it um, on my social media or anywhere, like on my Instagram or anything. Um, but yeah, plan for the night is I went to the gym um, and did legs because I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I've been loving the gym and I'm really seeing results and it's great. So that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to Hustlers tonight. I'm dying to see it. Except like, I'm actually dying to see it. Like I'm so, so excited to go see it. I've been wanting to see it for like three weeks now. Um, and that's all my kind of vibe. Actually what dreams are made of like is full on what dreams are made of like oh my god look at my new duvet it's actually the comfiest thing ever like it's way better than this angle is it's honestly oh my god it's like sleeping on a big fluffy jumper well i haven't slept yet but i'm assuming it will be and like the fluff is all the way it's on the inside as well Ready to go to the gym. Just put on my nice sports bra and my Tala leggings as per usual. 
usual I actually need to get more of these because I'm obsessed I want to get the grey ones but yeah they're such a good fit like such a good fit so yeah I'm gonna go to the gym now my monster is in the freezer I am ready to go filming with my ring light so yeah I'm gonna get a big sweaty session in before work because I'm my own priority, you know, and you should always be your own priority. I totally forgot to mention, sleeping with this duvet, like, part of me was like, oh my god, is it going to be, like, roasting? Like, but it's just so cosy and so nice. It feels like someone's giving you a hug all night, and I would 10 out of 10 recommend. It's in pennies. You're welcome. I full on feel like a ninja. I just put on my Nike, like, zip up and, like, the Tala leggings. I really want to get the Tala tops so. up. <coughs> I'm dancing to Ariana. Which I can't put in the video because it's copyright. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Oh. Oh, it's very bright. Actually, beautiful day. I see blue sky. What? I see blue sky. Um, happy Sunday, how are we? Today is going to consist of nothing. <laughs> I have work at five. Um, and I was working yesterday from two to 11. So, I was wrecked. So I slept a lot. And I'm going to go edit this video. So this is the last clip of the weekly vlog, but gonna roll into another weekly vlog for next week because there's actually some exciting things happening next week also well one very exciting thing that you'll have to stay tuned for um <coughs> can't believe like tomorrow is basically the end of september what is happening i don't know i hope you all enjoyed this weekly vlog i hope you all give the video a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you're watching this as someone who isn't subscribed, it takes like two seconds. So if you enjoyed this weekly vlog, if you enjoy watching my channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna go put a kind of monster in the fridge now, edit the video and eat some breakfast because I'm starving. So I hope you have a fantastic week and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Goodbye.